it's Froggy and today we've got another baby haul. So we're continuing on with the baby clothes from the last baby clothing haul, but I'm very excited to show you some of the bigger sized stuff that we have. So this one is six to 12 months. It's another one of those white ones, again, without the stains in the booty. Hello, there we go. Decide not to show me there. Um, so this one's got like little elephants and leaves on it, which is really cute, but it's another cute t-shirt one with the little snappy onesie on the bottom. I do like finding the white ones. <laughs> Gives me hope, you know, <laughs> about not having to deal with a lot of blowouts. Uh, we've got another cute t-shirt here. This one's got adorable little pink llamas on it. Technically it could be like a little baby dress, but I think it's going to end up having to be a shirt because this is for six to nine months old. Um, so this one does have a cute bow on it. Um, and then it does have the flare to bottom, but we mostly got it because of the llamas, <laughs> because llamas are adorable. And then Oh, this is the one that I was talking about last time. I don't know if you're gonna remember, but it says daddy's best friend on it. And it's got a little dog. This one I think is supposed to technically be for boys, but who cares? Um, obviously Fuzz picked this one out. It's for nine month old. And it does have the cute little feeties with the dogs on the end, but it's like this really soft fleecy material. And by the time she's nine months old, it is going to be wrapping around back to the late fall early early winter so this is going to be really nice and cozy for her it does have the snaps all the way going down but more importantly it does have the snaps at the bottom and then it does have the open arms and of course the very cute little paw print pattern which i mean how could you not love it next we've got another white one uh this one is for i believe nine months correct uh so this one is giraffes oh are you gonna be able to see that yeah you are okay that's good uh this one does look a little faded in the color there's a tiny stain in the center but honestly it's incredibly difficult to see and if we pair it with a pair of pants should not be an issue the giraffes themselves are in really great shape i'm surprised that they haven't completely worn out um it's just the white background that looks a little grayish so it's probably been staying in storage for a little while but who am i to complain again it was only a couple cents so Next, we've got like this velvety material one, which I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like the feeling of velvet, but Fuzz picked this one out. Um, so it is this pink stripey number for nine months. But what's really cool is that um, it does have, instead of snaps, it's magnets. So they magnetically stick together. So you can hear that. Um, my my big issue with it is that it doesn't go all the way down so that's gonna make changing the diaper incredibly difficult but he mostly picked this one out because one it was pink it was like the first pink thing he found and he got really excited about it but also because it's got this huge heart on the butt which is very cute but we are gonna have to make sure that we put a blanket over her when we're changing her out of this one just so that way she doesn't get cold and fussy but it does have the little feet it's little footy pajamas it's very cute. Reminds me of like those, the full on onesies with like a butt flap, except instead of a flap, you've got a heart on the butt, which is cute. Uh, this one does have actual words on it for 12 months. I did pick this one out just because it's got the little cat face. It says love. I don't, like I said, I don't usually like the words, but it had the words with like a little graphic underneath. So I don't mind that as much. And it is pink. It's got like that pink Heather look to it. I don't know if that's going to come across on the camera or not because the lighting in this room is atrocious, but I'm doing my best. And then it's got the little snail piece at the bottom. But this is for when she's a little bit older at 12 months. So it will be the dead of winter, but we can pair this. We've got lots of sweaters and stuff that she can wear over top. So I'm not especially worried about it then. This one was very cute. It's a t-shirt and it's got a monkey holding like a, a cupcake and it just says, sweet uh, sweet like mommy okay so we've each got one he's got daddy's best friend i got sweet like mommy i don't like monkeys like at all but <laughs> i thought it was a really cute graphic so i said why not and it's got the pink and the blue which i like it is for when she's older for 12 to 18 months um 
So not really minding that, honestly. We haven't found a whole lot of like um, stuff for when she's past a year. So we're basically just taking anything we can find. Most of the stuff that we find in those bins is for the like zero to six month age or like three years old. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of in between. So when we were finding stuff, we were just like, all right, just take it, just take it. Cause we're gonna need something. Next, we've got a long sleeve one. Uh, this is for 12 to 18 months. So we're gonna miss Halloween, but who cares? Um, so it's called Little Ghost, and it says beautiful. Um, uh, I mean, we both just really like Halloween, so it doesn't really matter to us if she wears this in October or not. But it's got the openings, it does have the long sleeves, which is what we wanted, and it's got the little snaps at the bottom. Partially done. I don't think any of them have been done. But I got concerned when I first picked it out because it looks really faded in the bottom corner. But then I noticed that it's like outside the lines here. So that's actually just like the aesthetic they were going for. And that made me a lot more excited about it because I didn't want to get anything that was going to be super worn out and looked really bad. But that's a stylistic choice. So I was OK with that. <laughs> that's just an empty bag. All right. Next up, we've got a cute little um like short onesie romper type deal for um summer so it's a bunch of animals relaxing on the beach and this one honestly is good for when she's going to be about like summertime so six to twelve months which is pretty good it's got the little snappy snaps at the bottom it is a zippered guy and honestly, I just think that the style of it's really, really cute. And it's nice to have something with shorts. So that way she can have a little bit more openness in the heat and she's not going to overheat on us. <sighs> this is a very cute onesie for uh, 12 to 18 months. So we can easily pair this with a pair of pants. But the top is really cute. It's got these adorable little bows. Um, and then it is like a tank top type deal with little cute dogs with bows and palm trees. And then it's got the stretchy legs. So that way it'll fit around her chubby chubby thighs. But it is a onesie. But I loved that it was a tank top and I do like that it has the little button in the back. So it does seem a little bit older than what she is. I just think it's very, very cute. So I was really excited to find that one. And honestly, again, it's in really good condition. The elastic is not worn out. The button hasn't fallen off. Um, there's no visible stains on this guy. So it's honestly really nice. It's not faded or anything. So I'm quite excited about that. Oh, so we've got another soft fleecy onesie with the zipper got little sheeps on it which we like it does have the open armholes this one is for when she is 12 months and then it's got the um little sheepy footies and then underneath it says the brand which is carter's just a whole lot but it's got it's like the raised one so it's gonna be grippy so if she's trying to like walk and stuff like that she's not just gonna slip on the floor and fall or anything which is quite nice um but yeah it's a zipper going straight down all the way into the leg which is good um, and it's just, like I said, it's incredibly soft. So it's gonna feel really nice for baby. Gonna feel nice for us when we hold her. So it's, it's a good one. All right, we've only got a few more items left. This one, I was so excited when I found this. So this is definitely for when she was older. She's like for 12 to, uh, for 18 to 24 months, but I didn't care because I absolutely fell in love with them. And it is a little pair of jeans, but it's not just a little pair of jeans, it's a little pair of bell bottoms. Aren't they so cute? Look at it. It's got the little flowers and everything. When I was 14, I had a pair of bell bottom pants, bell bottom jeans that I absolutely loved. And it had very similar details. So it had like a threading up through here that was like a pink hue. And then it had um, little flowers in here instead of the caterpillar. And then it had flowers all over the bottom. So honestly, this reminded me of when I was a teenager and when I saw these, I absolutely love bell bottom pants. Um, so I freaked out when I saw these and they were in the discount bin, so I had to get it. Literally only a few cents and I was so excited to get these. These are honestly gonna be some of my favorites and I'm I, I'm gonna try and get her to wear them as 
often as possible. There's a few pieces that I have that I'm, I know I want to put her in a lot, and these are one of them. And with all of the t-shirts that I have, I can literally pair it with just about anything, and she's always going to look super cute and stylish, so I'm really excited about that. Love bell bottoms. <laughs> um, okay. So we've got another one of those little romper dealies. Uh, this one is just like whales. <laughs> it's very cute uh, for 18 months and it does have the little buttons at the bottom, the snaps, but it also has like a little pocket right here that goes all the way across, um, which is really cute. Not that I think she's ever gonna use it, but you know, you never know. That's the thing. So, I mean, she might, she might pull like a Tommy Pickles and shove like a um, screwdriver or something in there, who knows. But it was really, really cute. Um, another one of Fuzz's finds. He likes anything with animals on it. I mean, we're both really big animal people. So we, as soon as he showed it to me, I was like, yeah, okay. Um, these ones don't actually have like a size on them, but they are just like a little pair of shorts. They're incredibly stretchy. I'm assuming it's for when she's older. She's gonna be too small for this for a while, but I mean, it's nice to have a little pair of shorts for like next summer um, or the one after it, but it should be big enough that it will fit a diaper in here and we can pair it with literally anything. But yeah, they're just a nice pair of neutral shorts. These are a cute pair of little pajama shorts for when she's two. Um, so it's just like flower buds and vines but it's like this really light green color, honestly reminded me of just like frogs and lily pads in the design and color choice. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed them because I thought they were cute. I don't really like trying to get the stuff that's for when she's two, but there are some pieces where I see it and I'm like, yeah, worth it. <laughs> Might as well. It'll take up a little bit of space for a while, but eventually she'll get there. But they're really, really stretchy, so they should honestly last her for quite a while. Even the bottoms, they've got like the little frills, but they're also incredibly stretchy. So they should fit her for, for a decent chunk of time, not just when she's two. So that will be nice. And then last, oh, but certainly not least, another one that I'm kind of excited about. So for any of you who have watched the Simpsons, you know that in the winter, Maggie Simpson is always put in like one of those starfish snowsuits. And that's exactly what this is. It's just a little snowsuit with like the arms all capped off and the feet are capped off and it comes with a little hood. Obviously it's not like just the red coloring, but it's it's got a bunch of animals on it. I don't know if it's easy to make out all of the different designs, but it's like a tropical, design with a bunch of different things there's like elephants in the back and a bear or a monkey or something and like a duck and i don't know it's got a whole lot going on but it's like this amazing fleece and then the inside is just like a flannel material um it's honestly really really nice we did get this one on sale for a dollar because everything at this place was half off this was from a different thrift store but um when we found it we were really excited i think this is gonna be for when she's a little older probably a year so we'll probably be able to put it put her in it when she's a year old but it's honestly just super cute and warm so we were really excited when we found this one um because snow suits are really hard to find and when you do find them they are usually very very expensive so when we found this one and with how colorful and soft it was we were like yeah okay i should buy that that'll be fun but uh <laughs> yeah so that's it for the clothes um so with all of the items from this haul video and from the last clothing haul video our entire total for it was about 23 dollars for all of that and there was a ton of clothes and the shoes and the snow suits and the pants and a lot of that brand new is worth quite a lot of money so honestly we probably saved ourselves easily like 80 dollars um probably more <laughs> um it just from going to the thrift shops and again pretty much all of it is in really good quality the majority of the stuff is stain free basically brand new one of them was brand new it still had the tags on it um i think there was only two or three items out of these entire two videos that had any kind of stain on it and it was like very minimal like faded stains and the whites were still pretty much perfectly white. So 
honestly, I'm, I'm really happy with what we did find. Um, and yeah, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Honestly, I've been doing the clothing thing as like a reward for myself because you can never have too much baby clothes because you never know what's going to fit, what's not going to fit. And it's better to be safe than sorry, especially if you have to do multiple chain clothing changes throughout the day. Um, just because the baby maybe will have a blowout or something and ruin whatever they're wearing and then you have to completely change the clothes because that can happen every once in a while or for some people especially like when the baby is quite new it can happen very often so it's it's good to have a lot of different changes of clothes so that way you're always ready just in case something happens um but yeah no we got a lot of fun stuff but most of the stuff that we have are just onesies and jammies because they are incredibly easy to put on and then you don't have to really worry about it so much afterwards because honestly you just want baby to be comfortable and warm for pretty much the first year of their life um some people will even just continue doing that into like their second year but I wanted to throw in some other fun stuff in there just so that way we can do like a couple of like little baby photo shoots every now and again. Not that I'm gonna want to do that all the time, but you know, every now and again is nice, especially for like the holidays and stuff or when we go on vacation just to take one nice picture or something like that or like family pictures or whatever. But um, yeah, anyways, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.